everything changes. Hey, what is up, guys? I'm Matt Bergstrom, aka Demappy, and welcome back to the Demappy channel. Today, I got an exciting announcement to make. We bought an Alexa and we started using it at home, and it's kind of comfortable. And it has a lot of cool functionality that I want to share with you guys, and I'm just going to go right into it. So, this is Alexa. It's called, this device in particular is called the Echo Dot. There are several devices that you can order that have the Alexa speech recognition AI installed on it, but this in particular is called Echo Dot and it actually just costs 650 Swedish kroner in any electronic store that you can find it in. We found it in what's called Webhallen. Alexa is a very cool device. It has a lot of functionality, a lot of cool things that you can use. I think the main things that I will use is Spotify and Audible and the news. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, yeah that's probably, that, that covers a lot of areas that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start off with Spotify. Alexa can play Spotify for you and you can tell her to play any music really. But the downside is most things that she can play is American. So it's kind of hard to play Swedish artists through this device, but if you like English music, well, you're fine. You're fine. So, Alexa. Alexa, please play Ed Sheeran on Spotify. Playing songs by Ed Sheeran from Spotify. There we go. Alexa, stop. So you can play any music. You can really, you can actually ask her to play dinner music, which is really cozy. I'm gonna ask her that in a second. I'm just gonna show you a cool thing with Alexa because, oh, sorry. Uh, you have to mute her and other, otherwise when you say Alexa, it's a command to ask her to listen to something. So if you click that mute button, she won't listen to you anymore. Otherwise, she'll start disturbing this video. Anyways, uh, Alexa is a, a really cool device, but when people pay for it, they really pay for the speech recognition AI and the services that that AI can provide for the user. And you don't really want to pay too much for the speaker system and the sound quality. Therefore, the sound quality in this device isn't really good. It's 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 okay, but it's not it's not poor, but it's not the best. So what Amazon did, because they want to keep the prices down, is that they allowed you to connect Alexa to other speaker devices. I think you can actually connect it to an entire speaker system, actually. And I'm going to show you this right now. Alexa, play dinner music. Piano dinner from Spotify. And now I'm going to put on this. And she's going to change. <laughs> instantaneously to this device. There we go. And now she's on this device. If I turn up the volume, she's over here and not over here anymore. Which is kind of awesome because you can really just control your entire sound system in your house through this device. And that's really cool if you if you're in, like me, you want to have some tech stuff around at home in the future. Well, these are one of the things that I really want to just hook up to my entire house and use as much as I can. Alexa, stop. So, what Alexa also can do is that she can read you the news. So if you, for example, want to get up in the morning and hear the news from last night or hear anything about the latest NBA game or whatever, she can read you them. And not in her voice, but in the actual report. So uh, Amazon has teamed up with various news channels and such so that they can put on their program in audio form on this device through the cloud. So let's, let's demonstrate this. Alexa, read me the news. Here's your flash briefing. From ABC News, here are your latest headlines. Scott Goldberg. We are learning more about the teen accused of opening fire inside his former high school in Parkland, Florida, killing seven people yesterday. Stop. 
So obviously you guys may not be interested in the news right now, but the thing is, it's really cool that you can have the news and you can actually, in your settings, you can pick which news channels you want to listen to. So you can, if you're tech interested like me, you can pick all the tech news channels and she'll read all tech news for you every day in the morning if you want to. And that's really cool. It's an easy way to stay updated. You can just, whenever you got time, tell Alexa to read you it and you can use the information in any way you'd like. But also, if you're not in the entire in the entire household, there's a lot of people, and everyone's not interested in tech. Well, you can create different accounts and then connect your account to different news channels. So, for example, I'm on my mother's account right now, and I haven't created my own account yet. Haven't had time for that. But if I ask her who I am, she's gonna tell me that she doesn't recognize me because I have not made an account because. There's voice recognition in this too, so if I would have made an account, she would have recognized my voice and known that I am Matt, or Matthias. Alexa, who am I? I'm not sure who's speaking, but you're on Julie's account. Yeah, you see. And it's pretty awesome, because you can really tailor the experience for the different users in the household. But there are some issues with having Alexa in, in an entire household, but I'll get to that later. A really cool feature that we have with Alexa also that we haven't used is you can change the lights in your entire house to like smart lights and then Alexa can control those lights by giving her commands. So you can for example tell her to turn on the lights in... I, I'm not sure if you can connect her to like different rooms but I'm pretty sure that wherever you put the, the smart lights, she can turn on and off and control the color of. And that's a really cool feature. She can control the color of the light if you purchase the right lights. So you can, for example, in a cozy Friday night, you can have some red color. Or in an early morning, you can have some blue lights simulating morning light. And those functionalities are a little bit overkill, but they're also pretty cozy if you are a really techy girl or guy. I'm just going to put this away now and go into the last function which I think is really cool with Alexa. As most of you know that watched my videos before, uh, I'm a really big audiobook fan. And I use Audible to listen to audiobooks. And Audible is an audio source app that you can download basically anywhere. Now it just so happens to be that Amazon both created Alexa and Audible. So you can actually connect these two and make Alexa read you the audio books that you have on Audible. Which is awesome because that allows me, for example, when I live alone, to listen to audiobooks in the morning when I make breakfast and I, you know, I change and just hook this up to my stereo system. Maybe it's in my entire apartment and just listen for like an extra hour of the audiobook that I usually do each day. Now those hours are going to accumulate and it's going to be a lot more hours for me to be able to listen to audiobooks which is going to be pretty effective for my part and I just love when things become more effective and I get you know more time to do other things uh, because the main goal here is for me to read one book e each month and I, if I can do that faster I got more time for other things too which is awesome. So in short uh, this device allows me to do a lot of things, Spotify, listen to Spotify, listen to the news, listen to Audible, and connect to the lights in the apartment. I mean, there's a lot of cool functionality here, and I'm really gonna, bu I'm so excited to buy one when I move out. Uh, I'm so pumped right now, really. I hope you guys are pumped too. Maybe it's just me, I'm just a techie guy. But let's, let's get into what might be problematic with... Alexa. What I like about Alexa is that she has a lot of functions that is very good and very useful if you live alone. But if you live with your family or in a bigger household like I do, well, some issues can occur. For example, if you wake up and you want some good morning music or want to put on some news, well, you may wake up your other peeps in the household and that's not nice. Either when you're commanding Alexa, people may hear you, or when she's playing the music. And if they already are awake and you put on your news, 
they may not really be interested in hearing what Alexa has to say. Same goes for when listening to Audible. All the people around you might not like you to listen to your book while everyone is eating breakfast at the same table. Because everyone is not interested or has not read the part of the book that you have read so far. So that's a main issue with Alexa. It may disturb the people around you, but it's very, very, very useful if you live alone. And I think it actually can make a lot more people feel less lonely when they live alone. I read in a study somewhere that the most lonely people on the planet are over 65 and the second loneliest people, that, like the age group in the world, is people between 21 to 35 because that's when people most usually start their careers and when they do that, well, it's not always as easy to stay connected to your family and have a girlfriend or boyfriend because you got a lot of work to do and maybe you have to move somewhere or the circumstances really change when you try to get your career going. So that's why the people between 21 and 35 can get more lonely and then devices like this can be really useful to dampen that loneliness. And it really feels like a human because you're speaking to her with a human name, Alexa. So I think for those reasons, this device is really good. At the same time, it is really useful, especially if you're living alone. Now, before ending this video, I just want to apologize for not publishing a video last week. I've been busy, but I've also been sick. As you may already hear on my voice right now, I still got a cold and I got some throat pain, but I'm getting better, so I'm soon there. I'm getting there. I'm soon healthy again, and I'll get back to training. If you enjoyed this video and really got inspired by Alexa and me showing you this, don't forget to leave a like below. And if you like my content, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that bell to turn on post notifications to be notified whenever I make a post. And now, I want Alexa to tell you goodbye. Alexa, say goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.